all right guys hi this is my first youtube video and i'm so excited to be doing this um this is gonna be a two-parter we're doing uh, my top five favorite palettes that i have used so far this year and then i'm gonna be doing a look with the number one pick and then i'm also gonna do a little intro about me um if you don't know me um, my name is Amanda. I'll start with that, but we'll get into the rest of it um, while I'm doing the makeup look. So I'm going to start with the palettes. Um, I have used so many fun palettes so far this year, and I have so many more to go through. I have a problem. We're up to like 33 new palettes, I think, for this year. They weren't all bought this year. A lot of them were bought on Black Friday to be totally transparent, but then I just keep buying new ones. Okay, so also if you see like a little bit of white in my hair, um, it is dry shampoo. Don't judge me. <laughs> anyway, getting into palette number five, we have the Nomad Cosmetics Fets to Provence um, palette. I will try not to blind you with the mirror. I absolutely love this color story. It's actually perfect for right now, perfect for spring vibes, but I used it in January, so no big deal, but I, I'm i obsessed. I used almost every shade besides, I think, two in this whole palette. I love this palette. This is such a good one. Um, this was also the first palette that I tried from Nomad, so that was also really exciting. Um, number four is the Odin's Eye Hella palette. Um, I am so glad I got this one. This is no longer available, unfortunately. So sorry about that. Um, but this is also the first palette that I tried from Odin's Eye. Um, I've been watching, um, Angie for a little while now, but when she said that it was going to be gone after the Black Friday sale, I was like, I have to get it. And I'm so glad I did. Um, I love green eyeshadow. I also really love pink eyeshadow. And there's some purple down here. There's a whole bunch that you can do with this palette. And I absolutely love that. Okay. Coming in at number three, we have another Nomad palette. So I've only used two no two nomad palettes i can't speak so sorry two nomad palettes this year so far or ever to be completely honest and i'm obsessed with the both of them so this was the um verona love and death palette um we have the one side sorry trying not to blind you we have the one side that is love and the one side that is death um i am i'm obsessed with this i love that it was based off of romeo and juliet and then i love that it came out for valentine's day um i've enjoyed using this i've only used it a little bit so far to be completely honest but i have loved it so i can't wait to keep using that that one was number three okay so number four was the luxe be aesthetics cosmic palette cosmic palette excuse me um this palette is so amazing and i said it when i was doing my review of it on tiktok but i didn't expect to love this as much as i did i'm not sure why i didn't expect it because it's literally so gorgeous but i loved this even more than i thought i was going to um i ranted and raved over this shade right here jewel bug i'm not sure what color it's showing up in the camera right now but like from different angles, like right here for me, it looks pink, like, like almost like hot pink, pink. And then from this angle, when I'm looking at it straight on, it looks like peachy, but then it shows up like green. Um, I'm not sure. It's amazing. Um, it's so, so pretty. I love this palette. And then my number one palette so far for this year is the blend bunny surge palette this is only the second palette that i've ever tried from blend bunny but it is absolutely amazing i had so much fun with these neons i absolutely used every single one of them 
and because like how could you not they're so gorgeous um but I just loved everything about this palette um I honestly t like I didn't really use the shimmers as much as I thought I would um because I'm totally like a shimmer gal but these mattes are so good and I really honestly think that it has to do with just the amazing quality of these shades that I just fell in love so this is my number one palette and we are going to be doing a look I want to do something springy I do have an idea in mind um that I will like talk you through as I'm going through it um but yeah so I will see you in the next part of this video <laughs> Hi right, guys, I am back. This is part two. I have taken my eye makeup off and we are going to do a look with the Blend Bunny Surge palette. I have an idea of what I'm going to do and I'm excited to do it. Okay, there is going to be some graphic liner going on and then um, I don't know, I wanted to do something fun and springy. So I'm going to mostly be using just like these neon uh, matte shades. Um, I think I'm actually only going to use three. So I'm going to do the top. I'm going to go off camera, do my base, and then come back and do the bottom because the bottom has some detail as well. Um, and then while I'm doing that, I'm not going to really be doing a tutorial. I'm just going to be doing it. And then as I'm doing it, um, I'm just going to kind of be chatting about myself and just like a, like a little introduction. Um, so if that's boring to you, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but I'm excited because I have been wanting to do YouTube for quite some time because I do talk a lot in my TikToks, I feel. So I've been wanting a platform that literally people come to hear you talk on TikTok, right? I feel like I feel like they do. So I am excited about that. Um let's see about me. Why do I feel like this is not sticking? All right, I'm back with a concealer base because that was just not working. Um, if you see little nail marks in my nose, it's because I was trying to pick out a blackhead. Anyway, okay, so we're trying that again. There we go. There we go. Color. Like I said, I want this to be very springy, very bright. And I have this idea in my head of how I want it to look. So, that is what we are going for. Okay, so, about me. I am an only child. I grew up in New Jersey. I am currently living in Massachusetts. I am married. My wife, her name is Hay. Like, hey, or like, hey, hey, like the chicken from Moana. That's her nickname, is Hey, hey. Um, we have a cute little puppy. Her name is Winnie. She's a Chewini. She's sitting in the corner where I look better. Being a good girl. Um, let's see. I love makeup. I love clothes. Um, sorry for the background. My um, makeup room area is also doubling as um, my closet currently. So if you see a lot of clothes, yes, yes, you do. <laughs> They're all mine. So, and that's not even a portion of them. The rest of my clothes are all in storage currently, which it's frustrating but that is where they are um i also like to collect things 
I do not know what's going on, but like the shadow will not stick to this portion of my eyelid. I I don't know what's happening. I've tried three different brushes at this point. I've never had this happen before, so I am not quite sure what's going on. Okay, we're back with a fresh base. Um, we're gonna try that again. I don't, I don't know what was happening there. I've never had that happen before. Wait, this already seems to be better. Okay, we're gonna roll with it. All right. Anyway. I don't even remember what I was talking about because I was so confused. Okay, so, oh yes, I'm married, me and my wife, we have our little baby, Winnie, a dog, so Winnie, she's very, very cute. I'm sure you'll see her on a video at some point. Um, I'm a huge makeup and fashion lover. I've definitely mentioned that already. I'm a huge fan of neon colors. My favorite color in the entire world is neon green. Um, love, love, love it. I am a Leo. My birthday is July 27th. Um, I love being a Leo. Um, let's see. I am a huge, huge, huge Disney fan. My wife and I went on a Disney trip for our honeymoon because she had never been to Walt Disney World and I said, we're going. That was basically how it went. Um, and it was the best time. I had so much fun. Um, I think she had fun too. Uh, actually, I mean, I know she had fun. <laughs> I'm like yeah i think maybe she had fun no she definitely had fun we had a good time um but i pretty much we actually just got back from disney a couple weeks ago um i will basically pick disney as my vacation pretty much over any other vacation um i will forever just want to go to disney world and i absolutely love it um like I said we just got back um from Florida like two weeks ago we only went to Epcot this time though which was fine I love Epcot it's one of my favorites um but I just wish we were able to like stay and do some more um because one day in Disney is just not enough just not enough but we were in Orlando for like five days. It was fun. We had a really good time. Um, we did some other things. And then we saw my parents in North Carolina. So my parents live in North Carolina. Um, we used to live in North Carolina. Won't do that again. Um, the South was not for us for a number of reasons. Um, I won't get into that now. Um, I say um a lot, apparently. <laughs> so like this color right here, that is my all-time favorite color in the whole world, neon green. This is the shade Chemistry from the Bowen Bunny Surge palette. If you're unaware, it is such a good color. Okay moving on okay so I know I'm not really talking about what I'm doing so I'm going to just a little like snippet I am doing I the other day I don't know what it was so I get inspiration randomly from weird weird things so it was literally the sky at night the other night was like for whatever reason it was like or it looked like it was a rainbow but there was like it was like clouds so all you could see really was like the orange green and the blue and like i was like i need to do orange green and blue for something so here we are that is that is where we're going with this 
orange, green, and blue. But then I also saw inspiration from she I feel like her handle on Instagram is Ali K, I think. Amy. Oh, it's Amy K. Amy K, I think. Um, but she does a lot of like graphic liner looks. And I've been really wanting to work on my graphic liner skills. Um because I am not that great, but I want to be, and I feel like if I tried, I could be. So this is like the general shape that I'm going for. Um, it will make sense, well, a lot more sense, I should say, once you see the final look. Um, so yeah, this is basically the only... Um, Thing I'm doing on the top like on the lid um, the rest is gonna be the liner and then underneath so I'm going to do my full face and then I'm going to come back with probably the top liner done and then maybe I'll be able to figure out the bottom part as well. We're gonna we're gonna figure it out. Okay, we're back with the base done. Um, I definitely have a lot of blush on, but it's it's okay, right? It's fine. Um, I don't know if you can tell where I'm going with it. Don't look at this side too close. I don't know if you can tell where I'm going with this, but it's a butterfly. Um, so. Now, we're going to do the bottom half, which I am scared. I am scared. So, I, I don't know how I even pulled off what I pulled off on top. But, we're going to do it. Okay, so the inspiration pick only had, like, these two shades on the bottom. So that's what I'm going to do. Again, I am just so nervous. It was really just like... Here, I guess, to like here. Because I'm going to do more... It's more graphic liner on the bottom also. And then I'm just making like the bottom wing out of it. I feel like the bottom is way more vibrant than the top, but we're going with it. Like I said, don't look at this side too closely. I'm left-handed, and for whatever reason, I can do my left eye, like, usually pretty okay. And then I go to do my right eye, and I'm like, especially when it comes to graphic liner. And I'm also still, like, learning graphic liner. So I am the first person to tell you I'm not an artist. I just dipped that into the blue. <laughs> Whoops. Um, I am a makeup lover, but I am not, like, I am not artsy. Never was. Always, I was always what I would call crafty, not artsy. So, oh, I just put, like, a nice little blue streak. Nah, that's fine. Um. Okay, those look all right, I think. It's really just getting the shape of 
the wing. Okay, so I am using the LEJ Beauty and Anna Anna's Artistry collab, both the brushes and the cake liner, um, to do this. Um, the original inspo pick had black, but I wanted to do something more exciting than that, so I decided to go for blue. I think it looks cute. And that's what matters, right? <laughs> um, I'm going to say doing water activated liner on camera really makes me super nervous. So I might cut this part out. I guess you'll find out when you're seeing this. Um, because I am not, like I said, I'm not the best at it. So it makes me like super nervous to do it on camera. I don't even know where to start here. Oh, that's not at all how I wanted it to go. Oh, that's not too terrible. Okay, hold on. Okay, now to go on to the white dots. I don't remember exactly how the picture looked, so I'm just going to go for it. Um, how I feel like doing it. Um, something that will hopefully coordinate with the top. And go with that. Again, I am using the um, LEJ Beauty and Anna's Artistry Collab. This is the arrow shaped pen, uh, pen liner brush that like is perfect like for like a dot because it's a little point. Um, I was actually super happy to see this brush when I was trying to do these little dots because I was not sure how I was going to go for them. And then I found this arrow tip brush. I was like, oh, that is a winner. Okay. Okay, one down. Okay, not sure what happened to my audio for this part, but I just was saying that I'm going to add some lashes and I added in some blue lines that were missing and I'm going to add a lip and I'm going to be right back. Okay, hopefully you can hear me. Um, my microphone died so I'm filming this part without it. But this is the final look and this is the look that I did with my Belen Bunny Surge palette. I am obsessed with this um so this palette was my number one favorite palette that i have used so far this year and um i will tag below um who i had inspiration from i will tag all the products that i used i used a whole bunch of products that i've never used before today um so i will write all that in there and then i have a whole bunch more um makeup looks and new makeup palettes and everything like that coming so hopefully you subscribe if you liked this um i am somewhat all over the place so i apologize for that that's on add but an adhd and just overall craziness um but yeah so i hope you got to know a little bit about me and i hope you enjoyed this and i hope you like this look as much as i do because i am obsessed okay thanks bye